Sustainable Development Goal 6 is outlined to ensure availability and sustainable management of water and sanitation for all. Chemical engineers can make the most positive impact on SDG 6 through developing finance for technical or bankable projects for developing countries, through research and development of new technologies to improve water quality. Examples of this are membranes or new advances in biological processes for wastewater treatment, and using our technical knowledge linked to public health protection and productivity gains. It is important we use our understanding of chemical processes and mass balances to ensure that designs are as sustainable and efficient as possible, both in terms of the size and the amount of concrete poured, for example, and through our operation phases. So we're trying to make uh, low power, low chemicals, etc. And we're also pushing towards digital twin and AI type approaches now. We now know that cutting carbon cuts costs and creates change in the way we view value engineering as well as creating a more sustainable future. There are many good examples of integrated water resource management, protecting or restoring water related ecosystems and involving the community. Many indigenous communities hold water systems within stories or legends. In New Zealand, water has a Māori or life force and indigenous communities are included in consenting or licensing processes to ensure a voice of past, present and create a better future through regeneration. As chemical engineers, we have a responsibility to ensure this voice is heard and respected and learned from the past in order to implement a better, more sustainable future. So what does the future look like? I would hope that technology will make provision of clean water more affordable particularly through membrane processes with the likes of skin mimicry, for example. Wastewater treatment processes will become less energy intensive and we will understand nitrous oxide emissions better. We will move to create products from wastewater and a food water energy nexus. We can see amazing examples of this in an advanced country like Singapore, for example, and use this as global best practice.